You hear a lot about infrastructure these days, and for good reason. Uh, the roads, highways, bridges uh, that we all use every day are critical for quality of life and for economic activity. Uh, think about uh, the trucks that drive across the border between Windsor and Detroit each day. Uh, it's a major driver of economic opportunity in this country, and we need high-quality infrastructure to sustain all of that. Uh, but we also can't lose sight that the economy is changing. The infrastructure that we used to depend on so much uh, is evolving. And so uh, as the government talks about infrastructure, I hope it also thinks about modern infrastructure like broadband. Uh, broadband is uh, increasingly the infrastructure of the 21st century. It allows people to connect. It allows people to uh, disseminate ideas. And it allows entrepreneurs in any corner of this country uh, to, uh, to have opportunity. And so uh, all of the traditional infrastructure that we've depended on for so long sure is important. I don't diminish that in any way. But I hope the government also keeps an eye on, on the infrastructure of the future. And that means focusing on investments in broadband technology. High quality broadband is such a, is such a critical part of our lives. Think about uh, how often you um, use the internet instead of watch television, or you use the internet instead of going to the store to purchase uh, 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 new clothes or a new book or, uh, or new technologies. Uh, the problem, of course, is that uh, we're increasingly seeing a broadband divide in this country between urban and rural. So uh, cities like Toronto have some of the best broadband infrastructure in the world. Um, but cities like Thunder Bay, where I'm from, um, suffer from poor quality broadband infrastructure. And so it's, it's not just a matter of investing in infrastructure, it's also targeting those investments in the parts of the country that need them most so that everybody has an opportunity to benefit from the digital economy.